Hello Python students. In this lecture, we will briefly introduce one more external library called NumPy. NumPy stands for Numerical Python. And this library is very popular for scientific computing in Python. The core of this NumPy package is NDArray object. NDArray stands for N-dimensional arrays. Many of you might think Python lists and these NumPy arrays are same, but that is a misconception. There are multiple differences between lists and arrays. Therefore, in order to use NumPy library effectively, we should first understand these differences. Then only we will be able to decide when to use list and when to use arrays. So these are the differences between Python list and NumPy array. Most of these differences are self-explanatory, whereas few requires some additional explanation because of technical complexity involved in it. So let's go through these differences one by one. First, installation and importing. As we know, Python list is the core data structure in Python language itself. Hence, we do not require any installation or import statement. Whereas, NumPy is an external library. Hence, we have to install this library and then only we can import it and use it. Just like what we did with pandas. Second point, type of elements. Python list can store elements of any type in a single list, which means we can have integer, character, float, another list, a dictionary, tuple, set, string or any kind of data element inside a single list. Whereas for NumPy arrays, there is a restriction. Every element in the NumPy array must be of same type which means if we create a numpy array we have to use it either only for integers or only for strings and so on but we cannot mix and match all these together in a single array third point dimension of elements there is no restriction on the dimension of elements stored inside list for example we are using nested lists. The inner list can be of any size. There is no restriction on that. Whereas, with respect to NumPy array, every inner list should be of same size. Next point, memory allocation. Whenever we create list, all the elements in the list are stored in memory in non-contiguous manner. Whereas, with respect to NumPy array, every single element stored in that array is always in contiguous manner in the main memory. Next point, size. As we have seen it earlier, Python list requires more memory. As in, it requires more bytes of memory to store some n number of elements. On the other hand, in order to store those same n number of elements, NumPy array takes less space. Next parameter is performance. And as it says, NumPy arrays are faster than Python list. Moving to next parameter, element wise operations. In Python lists, we cannot do element wise operations in a single instruction. Instead, we have to iterate over the list and access individual element in order to do such operations. Whereas for NumPy, it is very much possible to perform element wise operations in a single statement. And then the last difference is related to functionality. Python list cannot handle arithmetic operations. Whereas NumPy arrays can handle arithmetic operations. And not just that, NumPy array also provides 
a wide range of inbuilt functions which are very much useful for these arithmetic operations. And because of that, NumPy array is very popular with respect to scientific computing in Python. So now let's move to our Python editor and look at the core concept of NumPy array which is ND arrays. Now look at this particular code. Here we have declared four variables. All are of type list. First with single element. Second with five elements. Third is a nested list where we have two inner lists stored inside one outer list. So it is like a matrix stored in a form of list of lists. Whereas the last variable D is like a three dimensional matrix where we have three levels of nesting with respect to list. So let's execute and we got the output as expected and there is nothing new about it. But the point to remember is even though we said that this is a nested list and we are trying to store matrix inside this particular list, still Python list considers this list as a one dimensional list. Same thing happens even with respect to this list where we are trying to store values in three dimensions. Python is considering the entire thing as a one dimensional entity with some nesting. Now let's try to implement same example using NumPy arrays and then we will be able to understand the difference between regular list and ND arrays provided by NumPy. Now look at this particular code. Import NumPy as NP. Then in order to create a NumPy array, we will use this particular function np.array. Then we will pass this single number as a parameter. This will create an array of zero dimensions. In second case, we are creating an array of one dimension. In third case, we are trying to create an array with two dimensions. Whereas this will be a three dimensional array. Let's print the value stored in these four variables along with the dimensions of each particular variable. Let's execute. As you can observe in the output, 42 has zero dimensions because it's just a single number. Whereas this is a one dimensional array. Whereas for third variable, it says two dimensional because it's a matrix. And as you can see, it actually considers this as a matrix instead of list of list or in this case, array of arrays. This is the first row of matrix and this will be the second row of matrix. And that is the biggest difference between NumPy and list. Fourth variable D is even more interesting because this is a 3D entity. So we have this as a first matrix and this as a second matrix in that third dimension. Alright, I hope you must have understood the major difference between NumPy and a regular Python list. The idea behind this particular lecture was to make you all aware that there exists some entity called as NumPy which is an external library and it is very much useful with respect to arithmetic computation in Python. I am sure you must have explored this particular library in depth in statistics 2 course and if not you will do it in upcoming terms. Beyond that this particular library will be used in machine learning and deep learning courses extensively. But with respect to this particular python course this library is irrelevant. Hence we will stop with this brief introduction and allow you to explore it as you go on. Thank you for watching this lecture. 
happy learning